Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to lesson eight shape patterns. Shape patterns are to do with the particular types of shapes you see. A common pattern is for each box to have a particular shape. For example, set A has a triangle in every box. Alternatively, we can look at the characteristics of shapes, such as symmetrical versus asymmetrical, curved versus straight, concave versus convex, right versus acute angled, x-sided versus y-sided. Let's just compare convex and concave, because this is a comparison which many students often get mixed up over. In very simple terms, concave shapes go inwards and convex shapes go outwards. But let's be more specific than this. A convex shape cannot have internal angles greater than 180. If any internal angle is greater than 180, then the shape is concave. To help you remember, think that concave has a cave in it. With shape patterns, you often have to take a step back and look at sets as a whole. For example, when you look at specific shapes, you don't think, oh, this shape is symmetrical, or this shape is asymmetrical. It is something you spot by looking at sets as a whole and looking at things together. The same applies for the other possible shape patterns. Taking a step back can help a lot. Have a go at this question. The pattern here is that set A has regular shapes and set B has irregular shapes. It is unlikely to be a number pattern because there are one or two shapes per box across both sets. And it's not a color pattern as most boxes in both sets have just white shapes. Therefore, look closely at shape. Comparing the simplest boxes, box one in set A and box six in set B, you notice that whilst they are both curved, one is regular whilst the other is irregular. And again, this is a pattern which you can spot by taking a step back and looking at set A and set B as a whole. So you might wonder, how does this go along with the original medic mind technique to look at the simplest two boxes first? Well, when you're looking for the simplest boxes, you can also take a step back and look at the sets as a whole just to assess, as it's important to use both approaches because looking for the simplest box will help us to avoid distractors and help us to get complicated specific patterns. But taking a step back can help us to spot a pattern like this which is to do with shape and have a go at this question. The pattern here is that set A has a vertical line of symmetry and set B has a horizontal line of symmetry. When you see many similar shapes, be on the lookout for a position pattern or a shape or color pattern. There isn't a color pattern present here, but looking closely, we can see that, that there is a combination of shape and position. In set A, there is a vertical line of symmetry and set B, there is a horizontal line of symmetry. Box two in set B should be a good trigger because it hints towards symmetry due to the rotation of the heart. Again, this is a pattern which you'll probably more easily spot by taking a step back. And also notice that just because a box fits into set B doesn't mean that it can also fit into set A. So have a look at box five, the bottom left box in set B. This box has both a vertical and horizontal line of symmetry. 
and the same applies for box 3 in set A, the middle left. Therefore, if one of the, the test shapes is exactly identical to box 5 in set B or box 3 in set A, it doesn't necessarily mean that it fits into either B or A. It could be C, neither. So if you see the exact same box in the test shape as one of the sets, don't assume automatically that it fits into that particular set. It's useful to memorize the number of sides of common shapes to save you time in the exam. For example, a star has 10 sides, an arrow has 7 sides, and a plus has 12 sides. Have a go at this question. The pattern here is that set A has curved shapes and set B has straight shapes. If you think back from lesson 6, abstract reasoning triggers, we said that if you see crescent moons or circles, think of curved shapes. The UK CAP question writers don't have enough curved shapes to use and can't use a circle every single time. And they only tend to use these shapes for this particular pattern. So if you see the crescent moon or see a circle, be on the lookout for this particular pattern. Also, bear in mind that the curved shapes might have straight parts. The pattern, strictly speaking, is that set A has shapes with some curved elements and set B has shapes with just straight elements. When you see triangles, you should be on the alert for two patterns. Firstly, triangles could point. Secondly, there could be a split between isosceles and right angle. A common pattern is that set A has isosceles triangles and set B has right angle triangles, or vice versa. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.